It's Miss Judy, and today we're going to take a look at creating number bonds for the number five. This time we have five apples that we're going to be taking a look at. Now, as you remember from our previous number bond classes, you can always start with a zero. So we have a zero, and you have the number. In this case, the number is the number five. So our first number bond that we can create is a zero on the left side of the number bond and the number five on the right side of the number bond. So our whole, which is the number five, can be created using the part of zero and the part of five. Let's go back to the apples and I'm gonna start one by one. So we have a number one. So here's one apple. So let me put down the number one and then how many other apples are remaining? Well, we have one, two, three, and four. So four is our next number besides the number one. So we have one and we have a four, which together gives us the number five. So the one goes on the left side and the four goes on the right side. One and four, those two parts give us the whole of the number five. So let's go back and look at the green apples again. And let's go to the next number, which is two. So we have one and two. So let me write down the number two. Here we go. Where's the number two? There it is, the number two. And how many apples are remaining after I take the two? One, two, and three. So we have three apples that are left. So let's put down the number three. So that's our next number bond. We have a two on the left side and a three on the right side. Two and three gives us the whole of the number five. So we're up to four, we're up to three number bonds now. Let's go back to the apples and let's do one, two, and three. So now we have three apples. So let's write the number three. And then let's go back. Let's see how many are remaining. One and two. So let's write the number two. So now we have a three and a two. Before we had a two and a three, but a three now is on the left side and the two is on the right side. So that's a separate number bond. But, and that also makes up the number five. Okay, so now let's go back to the apple. Let me check again. One, two, three, and four. And I'll write down the number four. And what's left? We have one. And I'll write down the number one. So now, oh, my number one is missing. There it is. Okay. So now we have a four on the left side and a one on the right. And, you, and in the beginning, we had a one and a four. Now we can also make a four and a one to give us the number five. So what's left? Now we're just left with five apples and a zero. So five goes on the left side and zero goes on the right. We started this with a zero first and then the number five. So now we have six different number bonds that make up the number five. Let's write them out as a number bond. So I'll show you how that looks. So we have our number bonds and the fives are all the whole. The first one that we created was a zero and then the number five, a one, and then the number four. The third number bond was a two with the number three. There's my three. Okay, after that was a three there we go. And then the number two. Then the next one was a four and the number one. And finally, our last number bond was a five and a zero. So now what does this mean for addition? Well, we've just learned all the different ways we can add to get to the number five. We know that zero plus one, I'm sorry, plus five equals five. And one plus four 
equals 5, which is our whole. And then 2 plus 3 equals 5. Now, because 2 plus 3 equals 5, 3 plus 2 also equals 5. And that uses the commutative property of addition, which means we can move um, the, the numbers around. So 4 plus 1 equals 5. And we had 1 plus 4 equals 5. And we know that 5 plus 0 equals 5. So we found six different addition facts that gives us the number 5.